it's Charlie and I'm coming to you today from my locals community with your daily dose of business inspiration. Come on over and join me at askcharlieleatham.locals.com. Follow along for free or become a supporter to join in the conversation. To be a supporter is only $2 US per month. That ensures we aren't hit by spammers and trolls. It also helps me to keep creating this content, my podcasts and my tutorials, which I hope you've been finding useful. Let's get on with today's daily dose of business inspiration. Following on from my previous two uh, inspirations, I'm going to talk about reviewing and resetting. We've got our systems in place. We've got our processes and procedures written out and we've got our team following them. That's not the end of it though, is it? Just because you've got it all in place doesn't mean to say that that's where it ends and it's just going to work perfectly from there. It's still incumbent upon us and upon our team members, and this is where you need to start empowering your team members, to review those processes, to review the systems, to make sure the systems still live up to your expectation, are still doing what you hope they were doing or think they were doing and you hope they will continue to do. You've got to review your processes and procedures to make sure that you're getting the same consistency of out uh, outcome of output outcome uh, all the time. Once you've done that review, sometimes it's necessary to reset. Sometimes you can, most times you should just be able to let it roll and just let it keep going because it should just work like a well-oiled machine. Sorry, I don't mean to trip over my tongue there. But sometimes it's necessary to reset. Sometimes it's necessary to say, oops, that didn't work like I thought it would, or I forgot this bit, or mm, I could add this in to make this a bit easier. Or gee, you know, it would be really good if we added this part into this process because that takes it out of here and puts it in here. And that just streamlines things a little bit more. So do you review and reset your own processes and procedures? Do you review and reset on your own systems. How often do you do that? I would recommend that you do a review of your systems and processes once a quarter at least. Uh, when you first put them in place, I'd put them in place and then do a weekly follow-up and then a two-weekly follow-up fortnightly for the Australians amongst us, Australians and the Brits amongst us. Uh, and then I would probably go to a quarterly review, monthly, then quarterly review on, on both of those parts of it, the systems and the processes and procedures. Make sure things are still working. Make sure your team doesn't ha it doesn't come back to you. Sorry, I'm just going to stop there, start that bit of it again. Your team may come back to you on that quarterly review and say, yeah, this is really awkward. This is just taking us so much time to do. And if we would, could do it this way, it would work so much better. Bingo, you've just got yourself some uh, savings in time and energy, your staff is happier, and you've got a process that gives you a much better consistency of outcome. Sometimes it's necessary to completely reset and say, well, that system's not up to the process, uh, up to up to the snuff of what we want to do. This process isn't doing the, doing what we thought it should do at all, and we need to start from scratch. And that's okay. Don't be afraid of that. That's actually part of being a good business owner and being a good team leader and showing some leadership. Is saying, ah, we made a mistake. Let's move on. See, ah, I made a mistake. Let's move on. I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you had to do that? Do you do it? Have you had to do it? Have you had to do a complete reset? Or have you just had to put some small tweaks in place to make it happen? Leave some comments below. Come across to the locals, askcharlieleatham.locals.com to start a conversation and really get into it there. Uh, and please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell so you find out when I drop more content. If you can leave a review, please do. That helps. And if you know someone who would benefit from this type of content, please share it with them. Let them see it. Maybe they'll become a supporter on Locals as well. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Have a great day.